Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron and today we are going to be going over the SWAT weapons in our tier list. It's been a little while since I did SWAT and they do have a new weapon since the last time I did it, which was like a year ago. So let's go over each of these, talk about them and rank them. First up, we got our knife. And the knife on SWAT is actually really good because you can have the fallback skill, so you can have extra, or maybe it's close combat training, I forget which one it's called on SWAT. Um, this gets you extra damage with your knife, so you can actually use it pretty early on to deal a lot of damage. You can kill anything in the first couple waves with it. So if you want to be extra cheap, you can take this. And SWAT is probably the best starting class in the entire game. They are an easy S tier when it comes to just starting out the match. Kind of fall off as it goes on, though, because their weapons don't necessarily do the most amount of damage. I'm going to put the knife into D tier. Even though the knife is very solid on SWAT and early on it's great, but after that you're probably just going to use it to block and parry the normal stuff that you do. Nothing really to talk about there. 9mm pistol, same type of thing, although you do get two of them at the start, at least if you do take your close combat training. So you get extra value there, which gives the 9mm even more utility with SWAT. Um, it's actually a really good weapon on SWAT, and it's arguably better than your starting gun with the MP7, although the MP7 is also arguably better than it. Uh, it's just that you get so much more damage with the 9mm, it's a little bit more forgiving. So if you're not hitting those headshots, you're going to get a little bit better result with the 9mm. Still probably D tier, it's probably going to be something that you fall back on at the very end, or you're going to use it up very early on and then sell that first pistol, just so you get a little bit of extra cash, or maybe toss that pistol to somebody else if they want two of them. Give your teammates a little bit more value than they already had. Flashbang is one of the best grenades in the entire game. You can't hurt yourself with it, which is a huge plus, it's great for new players. It does a decent amount of damage, at least to small enemies. You can kill crawlers, you can kill stalkers with it, no problem. And it stuns all of the other enemies, which is great. It can stun flesh pounds and scrakes too. You hit something with a flashbang, even if it's a raging flesh pound, you can block it with something like the Glock 18 shield, your knife, bastion shield, whatever it might be. Just simply tank through it because you do have some tankiness to swat. Throw a flashbang at its feet and then just get up close and hit it in the head a bunch. Flashbang is probably A tier in terms of grenades. It is very good. Uh, really only outclassed by like the medic grenade and maybe the freezing grenade in terms of utility. MP7 is one of the best, if not the best, starting weapon in the game. The only other weapon I would say that's better than, at least if we're not upgrading, is probably the cock and burn once you have ground fire because you can clear up the whole first wave super easy with that. MP7 you can clear up the first and second and probably third wave no problem with it. It scales pretty decently with upgrades. It's got the red dot on it, it's full auto or it's semi-auto. It has basically no recoil and it has a large enough magazine um, to start out the game it's probably like an s tier but it does fall off as it goes on and you're not going to be using it a whole ton as the game goes on at least i usually don't so i'm going to put this one into b tier still say solid um all throughout the game so definitely a good choice there for a tier one weapon and if you want to hang on to it for a couple more waves great uh even if you don't you want to toss it to somebody else toss it to your medic or something they'll appreciate it it's a nice little gun on them then we've got the MP5. Unfortunately, the MP5 is still not way great in this game, mostly because it's a tier two weapon and your tier one weapon is so strong. There's not really a reason to replace the uh, MP7 with the MP5. You can take both in combination, of course, if you just wanna have a whole bunch of bullets early on, that is an option and it's fine. Iron sights on the MP5, I don't particularly like. They're a little bit too blocky. It's still not bad and it's okay with upgrades, but it honestly doesn't scale way great. So I'm going to put this one into D tier, but it's at the very high end of D tier. It's definitely better than some of the other D tier weapons we talked about, like the AR-15. But with the AR-15, that's your starting weapon, and it's, just, it's not worth keeping. Your starting weapon with SWAT, you could argue it's definitely worth keeping, and it doesn't really make sense to replace it with something like the MP5, which is arguably not as good as it. Uh, they also both scale about the same with upgrades, so they'll feel about the same when they're fully upgraded. Medic Submachine Gun is fantastic. It is one of the best tier 2 weapons in the game, in my opinion, especially on SWAT, because if you have Rapid Assault, you can have infinite healing darts during Zed time. That's great. It does decent damage, doesn't scale that great with upgrades like a lot of medic weapons, but it barely weighs anything. It weighs 3, so you can throw it on any loadout that you want, more or less. It's just all around really solid. As a weapon, it's not that great, but as a utility option, or as like a third weapon, if you just need to fall back on it, it's pretty good. I'm going to put it up into A tier. You could argue it's S tier if you're running Rapid Assault and you're using the infinite healing dart trick. That is really good. Tommy Gun. Tommy Gun is a little bit better for a tier 2 weapon, but honestly not that much better. It does do higher damage, but it weighs a lot more. You can upgrade it further, so it will do more damage than the uh, MP7. But still, just kind of an average gun, in my opinion. I'd put it into C tier. Um, full auto or semi-auto is nice. Iron sights are okay. 
Rate of fire, not the highest. It's an okay all-around weapon, in my opinion. Moving on to the tier 3s, we got the P90. P90 is okay. You get a lot of bullets with it, especially if you're max level SWAT. You have 100 rounds in it, so it takes a long time to run out. It does have a nice sight on it. It is full auto. Unfortunately, the P90 really doesn't upgrade that well. So it's an okay option if you want to replace something like the MP7, but I'm still probably going to put it in the same tier. It's a B tier weapon. It's decent, but... Uh, you can potentially do better than this. Up next, we got the HRG nail gun, which is, in my opinion, SWAT's strongest weapon. This one is really good. It does very high damage. It's fairly accurate. It has a large magazine, and it has two fire modes where you can fire it full auto, firing one nail at a time um, really rapidly. These nails can also bounce just like the regular nail gun, and they count as piercing damage as opposed to submachine gun damage, which is a lot better damage type than submachine gun damage because the larger Zeds like Flesh Pounds are more susceptible to piercing damage than submachine guns. You can also switch it to the shotgun fire mode where it's a full auto shotgun doing really high damage. It does have reduced rate of fire but you'll still get more damage per second out of it if you switch to that mode. It's very efficient especially for a tier 3 weapon. It should be something that you should go for right away if you want to have a really strong weapon with SWAT. The M45. This is probably like an A tier submachine gun. It's not bad. It scales okay with upgrades, it does decent damage, its sights are okay, three round burst is useless, you're just going to keep it in full auto, reloads fairly quick, lower-ish rate of fire compared to the other submachine guns, but it's still super accurate. So it's a decent option if you want to take something that's a tier 3, that does decent damage at all ranges, and doesn't weigh too much. I, I would say it's all around fairly solid. MAC-10, I'm going to put into C tier. MAC-10 used to be really good once upon a time when it was uh, bugged and counted as doing shotgun damage. That got fixed to where it's doing submachine gun damage and it's never been as good since. Its iron sights are fine. It does have a decent rate of fire. It has an okay magazine and it reloads fairly quick. It is also unique that it does fire damage, which is kind of nice because fire damage can scare off enemies. Um, it can make enemies panic and it does more damage to like bloats. So that's all around pretty useful. But overall, is it really better than like the MP7 for taking out the same type of stuff? Probably not. Vector. So Vector, I think, is still probably an S tier um, or very high A tier. It's a very good submachine gun, it has a really high rate of fire, it has very little recoil. Um, magazine size isn't the biggest, but that's still okay, it reloads fairly quick. And you can take out pretty much everything with it. You hit something with a flashbang, sprite with the vector, very straightforward. It also has a nice sight to it. Glock 18 and the shield, this one is still awkward and kind of weird to me. I like it, but uh, like low B tier, high C tier, somewhere around there. The shield does reduce damage, but you need to be holding it up, and when you're holding up the shield, you have to be ADSing, which is very awkward to be doing when there's, like, scrakes and flush pounds trying to hit you. Still has a high rate of fire, still does decent damage if you're hitting things in the head, and the shield bash is actually pretty nice on it. You can smack things with the shield, and it has a really high stumble chance to just cause things to not be able to hit you. So if you are running through a crowd or something, smack a scrake, smack a siren so they don't scream or whatever just keep moving that works then we have the hrg stunner this is the big aa12 shotgun that its secondary fire fires out flashbangs kind of they sort of work like flashbangs it's regular shots uh fire out slugs these do pretty decent damage although confusingly this counts as a shotgun and shotgun type ammo but its damage type is submachine gun so it does submachine gun damage very bizarre in my opinion um, the secondary fire i find to be pretty much useless the flashbangs it just takes up too much ammo for you to actually stun something and just throwing a flashbang at it is just way more effective. Decent all the way around, um, probably like an A tier somewhere up in here. And then we have the HRG Bastion. This one's probably another S tier. It's really good. This is your only tier five weapon, but this counts as an LMG. So it is assault rifle damage, which is slightly better than submachine gun damage in some ways. They're very comparable though, but this one really gets high for a couple of reasons. One is that it has a really big magazine, which is nice. You don't have to worry about reloading it all that often. And two, it has a shield on there. The shield is really nice to have because you can flip up the shield while you're busy reloading and then you'll still be partially protected. The shield counts as 180 degrees directly in front of you, the same way the uh, riot shield and the Glock 18 count. So everything that is directly in front of you and to the sides of you that hits you, you will take reduced damage, which is really good, especially if you're moving backwards because there's a very high likeliness that something's just going to hit you head on. So you can take reduced damage, making SWAT even tankier. The shield does take time to recharge and you don't want to have it up all the time. You want to be switching it on and off whenever you think it's necessary. Another really nice thing about this is it doesn't weigh very much. For a tier 5 weapon, it, I think it only weighs 7. So you still have another 8 weight to play with. So you can actually take both 
defense options if you want. One of the best loadouts, in my opinion, is the nail gun in the Bastion, but you could also take it with a vector in the Bastion. So that'll do SWAT's tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to the supporters of this channel. If you'd like to be part of it, links in the description. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.